Mabibi na Mabwana. Uh, I'm Jumbo. Niaje. <laughs> Ni fora yangu uh, kuwa nani jioni ya leo. I cannot tell you what a, a great pleasure it is for my wife and I to be back in Kenya once again. I am enormously grateful to you, Mr. President, Madam First Lady, for your uh, most generous invitation to make this state visit. The tremendous hospitality you have shown us and the wonderfully warm welcome that you and the people of Kenya have extended to us um, have touched me deeply. If I may say so, it is particularly special to be able to return to this extraordinary country in the 60th year of your independence. Today, Mr. President, you and I stood by the mighty uh, Mugumo tree, which marks the spot where almost 60 years ago uh, the Kenyan flag was first raised. It seemed to me that the tree is, is thriving, strong and deeply rooted, just as this great republic and her people continue to thrive. It, it means a great deal to my wife and myself that in our coronation year, our first state visit to a Commonwealth country should bring us here to Kenya. We, we both take considerable pride in renewing the ties between the United Kingdom and Kenya, a country that has long held such special meaning for my family. Najiskia Kama Niko Niumbani. Now it is well known, I think, that my dear mother, the late Queen, had a particular affection for Kenya and the Kenyan people. She arrived here in 1952, a princess, but left uh, as queen. It is extremely moving to read her diary from that visit, in which she wrote that she did not want to miss a moment of Kenya's extraordinary landscapes. I really cannot thank you enough for the support Kenya gave her through that difficult time. Ten years later, my father, the late Duke of Edinburgh, attended the celebrations of Kenya's independence. To mark that the occasion, Her Late Majesty wrote to President Jomo Kenyatta to convey her sincere hope that with God's guidance, Kenya would prosper and that her people would have peace and contentment in full measure. Nearly 50 years later, it was here uh, in sight of Mount Kenya that my son, the Prince of from Kenya's example, so that the natural world we treasure and which ultimately is our only sustainer can be preserved and above all greatly enhanced and restored for the benefit of our grandchildren and the generations that follow them. Those next generations are themselves taking remarkable strides to secure their own future. I have long believed in the extraordinary potential of our young people and left my meeting with young Kenyan and entrepreneurs today inspired by their accomplishments. It gives me great pride, therefore, that the Prince's Trust, which I established very nearly 50 years ago to support young people, is now operating in Kenya. And that in 2021, Ekalali Susan from Turkana County became the first Kenyan winner of the Trust's Global Award for her entrepreneurial efforts to help lift her family out of poverty. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, my mother, <clears throat> Her Late Majesty, cared deeply that Kenya chose to be a member of the Commonwealth and was always grateful that Kenya has played an essential role in this family of nations to which she devoted so much of her life. 
on this, my first state visit to a Commonwealth country, I, I wish to reaffirm my own pledge to support the Commonwealth's bold vision for action and the values upon which it rests. That one third of the world's population, united by peace, justice, tolerance, and mutual respect, should commit to protecting our environment and the most vulnerable in our societies. To this endeavor, Kenya makes a profound difference. It is here in Nairobi, for instance, that Kenya hosts the only United Nations headquarters in the Commonwealth, indeed in Africa and the Southern Hemisphere. In this, as in so much else, Kenya is helping to shape our world and forge our future. The extraordinary ingenuity of the Kenyan people fuels these endeavors. Your environmentalists and your entrepreneurs, your religious leaders, artists, scholars, soldiers and athletes, your elders and your youth. And so, Mr. President, if I may, I would like to propose a toast to you and to the people of Kenya. It is upon the enduring connection between our people that our partnership rests. It is on their enterprise, imagination and fortitude that our common hopes depend. Together we are stronger, together our future is more secure, and together, as your national anthem says, may we dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Umoja ninguvu.